Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video we have this 2018 Nissan Rogue and we're going to replace the front brake pads. Front brake pads are very critical to do. There's a whole bunch of uh, little clips. A lot of people fail to do it the proper way. So in today's video I'm going to explain to you exactly how to replace these brake pads. It's a simple job. You just need to follow a few steps. Also I'm going to show you the tools that I'm going to be using. Uh, pretty much it's going to be a uh, 14 millimeter socket with the ratchet 3 8 uh, compressed tool if you use a C-clamp or a special compressed tool if you got. But other than that, let's talk about brake pads before we begin the job, okay? So evolution, that's what I could find in this, pretty much this vehicle. These are like a $40 brake pads plus tax. You might get around like $54. There's a part number right there. And inside, you're going to have a set of brake pads. And it's also going to give you instructions how to brake in the brakes. So you got to drive it for like a little bit. And also inside this brake pad, you're going to have a small little sensor box, bag and another hardware kit. But this hardware kit doesn't need to be really changed if your hardware is looking pretty good like that one. But I am going to show you how to change this without me replacing this. I'll show you, give you detail how it goes on because a lot of times you don't need to take things apart if they're not broken, okay? Pretty much this car doesn't have too many mileages so it's good, it's in good hands. But anyways, Let's get this job done. So there's the brake pads and a hard rake. All right guys, so to begin with, like I said, 14 millimeter. If you like, you can turn this, okay? And you'll have a better access. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this bottom one. So make sure you position it to the off. So if you're looking at it from the back side, it should turn counterclockwise. I'm gonna give you a lot of tips on uh, a lot of great things, so you do your brake jobs pretty good. So once you have this out, you're just gonna grab this whole caliper. Sometimes you need to pry it from right here with a screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver or pry bar. And this thing would slide right off, just like so. And you can put the caliper up here. So the next step is, we're gonna, you see how this brake pad just moved? That's really good right there. A lot of times people jam their new brake pads in, you should not have to jam in your new brake pads. And pad comes out, and a pad comes out. Notice the inside brake pad has a brake wear indicator sensor right up on the top. Okay, so it needs to go back up on the top, not in the bottom, on the top. All right, so that's how that goes. And on the outside brake pad, it does not have that. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna, you're gonna grab your hard, you know what, in this case, we are gonna replace the hardware kit. So you pretty much, you take off the hardware kit, it has these little retainers that works like a spring. They just put another design in, it's different than all the rest of the vehicles. But anyways, there's our hardware, and here comes our new hardware. So let me get this bag open, and then we're gonna go through this together. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna clean this surface here. Make sure you clean it really nice. Usually the bottom ones will take a good amount of uh, dust coming off. All right, there you go. So once you have all this clean, the surface is nice and clean, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna grab, it's gonna be hard to see, but you see the hard rate kit? So pretty much, if you don't throw out the old one till you look at it, okay? Just see how it goes in there. So pretty much, so these can be put on the wrong place. So you see how this is facing up? So it needs to stick up in here, right over there. And then both of this, this loop has to go under these, okay? It's gonna be a little bit tough, but we should be able to manage it to get it in there. And then, once you have the loop all around, you're gonna stick the other end right below there, just like so. Took me 10 seconds to do one. It's hard to see, but just follow along with your old retainer. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the, this one and the top one, and then we'll put these in. Okay, so once we have the new retainers ready, so pretty much, they're gonna just stick it just like so okay so another thing I want to mention is make sure 
you see how the retainer on this side is sitting right here it's on the top edge okay if you leave it in the bottom it's gonna it's gonna hit over here okay so just make sure you get it done right and make sure these are facing upwards just like that all right and make sure you get these retainer to sit perfectly in the center so they do not hit the the rotors okay you can even turn it so you have no scrapes okay so the next step we're gonna put the little brake wear indicator sensor on this brake pad so the little sensor that we have here remember i showed you it goes on the top sensor and it's gonna go in this way you cannot put it this way okay if you put it this way it, it's gonna hit your disc all right so try to get it the same way okay there's just few of them so this is probably the wrong one okay, so all i did was squeeze the little retainer because it was just fr too free in there so again so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna go against the spring okay this the little clips we put the little metal spring loaded clips they're gonna work like a spring you see that Okay, there you go. You see that? That's a perfect brake pad right there. All right, I'm gonna leave this one alone because right now we need to also, oops, I knew that was gonna happen. We're gonna compress the brake piston right here. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our old brake pad, put it right there, and I'm gonna get a, get a clamp tool to squeeze that caliper. We're gonna do is we're gonna. This is the clamp tool I use. This is a compressed tool, pretty much. So once you have that in place, you should be able to. Push that piston back in. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, make sure your pin tier sliding pins are lubricated. They're nice and free, but these are good lubrication, so I'm not gonna put too much lube either. So that goes on. Make sure your boot is on there nicely. This rubber boot usually won't pop up above it. Just push against it, it will go on. Okay, so pretty much now we're gonna have to redo this brake pad. Add it in there earlier there you go try to do the same thing for the outside brake pad and you bring your caliper down you're gonna take your bolt and torque it I'm gonna give you the torque specs all right so I got that there and I'm gonna torque that you're not gonna see me tighten this because I'm gonna torque it but the torque spec is and there you have it. That's how much tech you're going to do. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Procedure is same thing for the opposite type.